being accountable for those groups, the sports groups, the drama groups, the poetic groups? How are you being uh, accountable? Where is your accountability? Who do you give your accountability? Are you accountable for your actions? Every word you speak has to have accountability at the end of the day. Do you do an assessment at the end of the day? During the day, you're supposed to be assessing whatever you do, whatever you say, the actions, everything you do in your life. Life is a school. You're supposed to have exams and tests. But how are you doing? How are you attending your class of life? People who have no accountability, they keep cutting classes. And when it's time for exams, they cheat. Why? They have nothing in their heads. Are you attending the things? Someone who has accountability, you attend the classes as you're told. Why? Those classes have the answers to the exams that is, are coming your way. I went to Mengo Senior School and we used to have Saturday papers. Every Saturday there was a test. And people who were not reading struggled a lot in school. Some trusted their heads because they were bright. But when I look at most of my OBs and OGs, accountability is zero. This one, I'll be honest. And most of you are not wise. You're just bright. Hence, the struggle in life. And those who would think that, yes, by Vaitamu, they can, you know, they are always on the front line. Accountability is zero. The way they speak, the way they use their money. I told you, I wrote something yesterday, that if your job, if God has put you in a place of royalty, that went to different groups. If the Lord has put you in a place of royalty and your job is to open your mouth and say, I am the one, I am the reason you are where you are. Please close that door behind you in your house with your wife and children, with your husband and children and go into repentance. The Lord is waiting for you in the upper room to listen to you. This goes out to nations. This goes out to Uganda on a bigger scale. People abroad are, have, their hearts are full of rage. Their hearts are full of jealousy. Their hearts are full of hatred. When I say people, I don't discriminate. People, if you're called a person. People no longer want to associate with anyone. Why? The mouth brought hatred. This mouth is supposed to preach the word of God. This mouth is supposed to encourage people. This mouth is supposed to warn people. But abroad, the mouth is used different. People no longer want to associate with anyone. People no longer want to host. Now our hope is the wives they get married to. Oh, 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 oh. Bachtal. They never want to see their men around any woman. Why? The rate at which women abroad snatch men or men snatch women, I don't know who snatches who. Because if you are an adult, how do you wake up and they snatch you? Please tell me how that works. Zero accountability. A full man when you already have a wife at home. Why were you impregnating her in the first place? Why were you asking her out in the first place? When you cannot put your altars in, in your trousers together. What kind of accountability do you have as a man? And as a wife in the house? You're supposed to bring order in the house. The Bible says that you, you will, when you welcome visitors, you never know you will welcome angels. Do you know that you've missed out on angels in your houses? Do you know that? Oh, you want to see the angel with the feathers? Okay, okay, okay. Wait for that angel. They will come over. If you know that you've ever thrown out someone at a difficult time, 
close the doors, tell your friends we are out of service, we are into repentance. If you want the Lord to visit your house again, because you threw out God long time ago. You think you have money? Hey, my God. That money you have is God's money. Taking it is not your problem. Accountability. You're going to give accountability for every person you threw out. You're going to give accountability for every person you slandered. You're going to give accountability for every president you abused. You're going to give accountability for every pastor you abused. You're going to give accountability for every family member, OB and OG you abused. Accountability. This goes out to all nations because that is... When someone bathes hatred, it spreads on a bigger scale. I cannot sit in church and I see people slandering each other and I just relax. What is so funny, not only young girls or young boys slander each other, old women as far as 60 years and above, they still have time to slander each other. I thought it is time for them to take care of their, their babies, their grandchildren. But when I find a big old woman crying because another old woman who is 16 and above said things the other one did not say. Because I thought when you clock 60 or 50, it is time to relax, take care of yourself, your grandchildren, your self, your husband if you have any. But you also engage in cheap talk. What kind of accountability is that? And you don't want to talk about it. When Esther comes out, she's disrespecting. Mm. That is accountability, right? Barnabas. When you find a 60-year-old engaging, a 50-year-old engaging themselves. For the 40s, I will understand because most of them, they've refused to grow. They've just refused to grow. When you clock 40, actually, when you clock 35, there are things I think you shouldn't engage yourself in. But when I look at the season, 25 years of age, up to 60, you're a disaster. Your job is to separate friendships. Your job is to break up marriages. Your job is to make families hate each other. I think I don't want to grow. I want to stay at this age. With, this, with the mistakes that I've made now so that I correct these ones. Fourth follow, I think it can wait. Mm. Because when you get to 40, all I want you to show me is uh, what have you done? How have you gone to another level? There are people bonga bagay na tukubi ya chiboko. Si na chabako lila na ikawa zitukubi. Because bobe ebele as our language is, is. They, for them the accountability started way back. And it is working on a bigger level. But same of us. Eh, eh. How can you be 40 years of age and it, you're found in a scan? I hear you're stealing someone's money. How? You're supposed to be seated in your house with your husband, enjoying life. Make sure you develop other people. Those are the things I want to hear from a 40-year-old. From a 50-year-old. Okay, let the 30s do, and the 30s, I still don't expect you to do that. Why? When Jesus became a 30, he even nagi. Accountability hakuna. Did you, did you hide my book? At 40, I expect to see such things. Oh, nagi na kutukubi achivo okono. Hey, even nagi. If I ever find him in any fight, I'll seek the Lord on a deeper level. On. A 40 year old? Hey, this is it. A 40 year old, you should be doing things to help the community go to another level. 
we call them so 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 shock cop there's something that every company is supposed to engage in if you bring a project in a house in a in a village social corporate responsibilities when you bring a project on the village it is not to benefit you it has to benefit the village not you Because when you bring your project, you don't do it alone. It involves people. So you give people jobs. You're supposed to be a job creator. But some of you, when you created your business, all you want is to take. You want to be rich alone in the village. A 40-year-old Ochari Murugambo. A 50-year-old Ori Murugambo. A 35-year-old Ori Murugambo. What kind of accountability is that when you are a mother and a father? What are those babies going to look like when they grow up? Eh, hey, Banangi, you're going to give birth to a baby who has a long mouth like this. In church, we are supposed to be preaching the word of God, helping those who do not have anyone to help them. Hey, Banangi. And you're busy engaging in Lugambo, making sure you destroy someone. Ah. And yet you have a project you want people to stand with you. Hey, Mama Bonjo, the repentance is still on. Me, I told you, the topic was accountability. Then I asked the Lord, I had many scriptures. Scriptures. I was at work when I did this. Mm. Me, when I'm somewhere, I keep myself busy. I love because I love writing a lot. Mm. When people are not there and I'm not busy, kuchu, 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 I don't waste time. Hey, so I gotta fuck a thing as soon My life is not a boa. Mm. I keep myself busy. Then I asked the Lord the character. Then I did some research, research. Then I'm like, huh? Timothy. Then I see Barnabas. Then the Lord reminded me the day someone called me here and told me the Lord asked me to pray for you. Then they talked about Barnabas. I remembered and I'm like, Okay, let us see what Barnabas... And when the person talked about Barnabas, I did not... I had not bothered... I've ever had the name some time back. We had a coach called Baruna Barnabas in baseball. One of the big giants in Uganda for baseball coaching. And it had stopped there. Of course, I, once in a while. But no one talks about Barnabas a lot in the Bible. Then I'm like, this person is telling me Barnabas. They left me with questions also. I kept on asking myself from that day that I was prayed for about Barnabas. Open your Bibles. How are you responsible? You're in charge. You know you love saying, I'm the leader of the choir. I am the leader of the intercessors. I am the leader of the children. Mm. As a leader, you know, with Barnabas, we tackled accountability as a leader. How do you lead? A leader is supposed to listen, emphasize, apologize, and do something. How many of you, if you are a leader, has listened to everyone you lead? How many of you has emphasized things? Oh, we all love emphasizing. That one, I'll, I'll give a tick. But few emphasize it to a point of implementation. You emphasize that only on a few. How many of you have apologized to the people you lead? You only apologize to those who give you a lot of money. We know. Those who don't bring anything, they, they are worthless to be apologized to. And you are a leader and you want to lead everyone, right? And you know what is so funny when the Lord gives you people to lead a shepherd? The Lord brings the rich. The Lord brings those who have nothing completely. 
and those that <laughs> be careful if your your pack of sheep has poor people those people you're supposed to feed them read psalms 23 a shepherd guides a shepherd protects a shepherd feeds read psalms 23 you keep creating whatsapp groups but the last time i checked group admins you only take care of those you know you're too too proud to apologize group admins hey <laughs> you thought whatsapp is for what Hey, technology, you don't know. Mm, for you think, yes, it brings us together and we work together. Mm -mm. That WhatsApp you see is teaching us how to work together when we don't see each other. The things you do when you see someone are the same things you should do when you don't see them. That is what a leader, an administrator, who has accountability does. You don't only check on those people. I hear I studied with them. We are married. We work together. We come from the same village. Who said so? We go to the same church. We understand the same pastor. Why did you bring others who don't go to the church, same church as you? Why did you bring them? Why? If they are not in your class or levels of education and money-wise, why did you bring them? Why are they useless in the group? Do you know what keeps people in Kamori? Your character. Some even changed their numbers and they were like, mm -hmm. association with such character, I don't want to pollute my babies. Most of you are like, you know, guess, guess, I keep saying, why? When you send me pornography every day, me, I removed automatic download long time ago. I kept around you because there's something I see in you that I know the Lord can use and you benefit somebody else. That is why I kept around. Me, I'm not so holy. Mm. I keep around with all my friends because when the Lord took me to school, he never said he studied with only people who are saved. There are people who are very productive, but the character is still having issues. Why? We never grew up in the same area. They never told them that you don't put pornography out for everyone. Just leave it in your phone and enjoy it yourself. Not with everyone. That is why me and persistence with my things and others who know the Lord just watch. Then they complain from Kamori. Why? Bring it down. I told you church is supposed to influence the spheres of the earth. You're supposed to give accountability when you meet the Lord. Hey, you thought you're going to stay here on earth and you just grow like a tree. Mm -hmm. You're just waiting for, for, for you to cut, be cut down and burnt, right? Then, of course, since it, the roots are still in the ground, then another shoot of you comes out. Eh? Mm. And you're forgetting the Lord, the, the book of Genesis. Oh, Bambe. After COVID-19, I don't expect people to put their bad character out in the public. Keep it to yourself if it's still benefiting you as a person. If pornography works for you so much, please spot, stop spreading germs and diseases. You don't know the spirits that run behind pornography. In California, there is a base where they do that pornography from for money. Then they send you those things on WhatsApp, on Facebook, and they spread their diseases and germs and demons. A person in their right mind, you don't have sex on camera and you spread it out like that. Those people are under drugs. Those people are under the influence of the devil. You're spreading the devil. You became a devil's agent. Please keep the devil to yourself. Don't spread the devil to other people. And you keep saying, why are you putting your phones near children? My friend, you're also a child. That's what the Bible says. 
top spreading germs. Those are viruses. The first time I was, thrown, I was attacked by my OBs on the same classes I studied with, it, came, it was because of pornography. I talked about it. Then someone had the guts of coming into my box and telling me, but now you're being funny. Hey, my brother. My brother. I know you're listening in silence. You never knew that COVID-19 is coming. You thought you knew me? Mm-mm-mm. You just know the outside why you're not God. The God I serve sees the heart. I was thrown, I was attacked by my hobbies and orgies of my years because of pornography. And in the because I don't keep quiet. Can you imagine pornography? And most of them are married and they have children. And they had the guts of attacking me. Never nangi da sente ze vampa when I was sick. Teya ina mo soni nanga baba kutusa mo America. I have a very sharp memory. Those are things I kept quiet about when I was attacked in my inbox by an obi. Then it did not stop there. Yeah, me, I was doing my own things here. And words started spreading how I stole money to go abroad. Pornography. Hey, my pastors, pray for us. Because some of these people go to your churches. Pornography on WhatsApp groups. Hey, hey, hey. And these are parents. Pornography. I told you until I get a real friend. Enjoy your pornography, but not in public, if you still want it. Make another small group of people who love pornography and you share it there. You can throw me out on any group. You can throw me off any group you want. The Lord told me never to leave a group. But if you are engaged in things that bring the devil himself, the devil is no longer going to be my group. I do. Mm. Mm -mm. Because you don't have accountability, because you have the data. You... And what is so assuming, you're also someone in society and you're supposed to influence society. We can have the fun. But please stop being a devil's agent. I know my hobbies and orgies. On the group I am on, as other hobbies and orgies, you no longer talk. You go where I am not, and I become the topic. But make sure you chase the Holy Spirit out not to see you. I told you. He got my back. I told you, starts when you slander anyone after COVID-19. I investigate. Barnabas, accountability. He partnered with Saul to teach. When you partnered and created that school of yours, what happened? When you partnered and got a project, what happened? When you partnered and started a church, what happened? When you partnered in families that you start digging, what happened? Are you bringing the food to your self and your... If the land does not belong to you, it's a family land. I expect every family member to be getting food. If you have accountability. I am one person who, is a, who loves the starting things. I, I get... Two, three people. One brings the idea. I attack in the inbox. I'm like, what are you saying into this? Oh, okay, let me talk this one because I know they are good in this area. Talk. Then me and creating things. Eh, hey, mama. That is why most of the people who never understood who I am called it all gaze, gaze. I told you when someone can do something you cannot do, it is polite enough not to open your mouth and use it aimlessly. Why you have children? 
accountability. Kuchu, kuchu, kuchu. Some of you complain about me, how I don't rest. You don't know my hours. You don't know how I rest. But when you want something, you want me to run around. Kuchu, why? Because I've always been like that. Ask those who know me. At home? <laughs> Esther knows, the doctor knows, the lawyer knows, the, the counselor knows, the people who sell thread in, you know, we know, the people who sell thread in, 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 eh. She knows everything, the one who can cook, the one who does keksi. That's why I created a group of service providers. Why? When I was growing up in life, in my walk of life, I engaged my life. Even the Valugwara who sell ground nuts in Kampala. I was taught, you greet everyone, say hello. Making friends is not a problem. That is why when you have a problem, you call my phone, you get a solution. There's someone out there waiting to help you. I love networking. When you are sick, I just call, which hospital do you want to go to? Call, oh, I'm so, so and so. I have a family member, I have a friend. Can you please intervene? Help us, please, at least give just advice. And I am seated away. I was told that since you're not on ground, we are not engaging you. And I'm like, why am I part of a group? Accountability zero. You're on the ground, but you can't know where to buy the right tomatoes for yourself. Me, when I'm mo moving like this, I don't put my ears out. My first year here, I had to find out where the embassy is because I needed to renew my passport. But people who have been here for years don't know where the, path, the embassy is. If they don't have a phone, that is it, they are doomed. I just sit on a bus, get a train, and go to the embassy in D.C. Someone asked me, like, eh, how long have you been here? Why we looked for her? Because a friend of mine had brought her things. Hey, pastors. We stood in the rain to deliver things. You joke with human beings. Then I was asked, how do you know how long have you been here? How do you know all these areas? In my mind, I'm like, I am a Ugandan who needs to know where the, air, the, the, the embassy is. Just in case America decides to become something else. Good, 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 good. And I, good. Why? I will hide there because I still have a Ugandan passport. I got these books from the embassy. When I went to the embassy, you know we are changing the passports, I, 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 I got information and I spread it out like a virus. <laughs> I even left it on my, face, my Facebook wall because people didn't have the right information. They are just spreading wrong information. Accountability zero. And Esther goes around this and takes a sentence to boast on New Jersey, Babo Kampala, Babo France, Babo Belgium, Musmania Bichi. You called it all case case. It is called accountability. When I see something that is going to help a Uganda, I spread it out. Why not? If I know it is from the right source, I don't spread out rumors. Accountability. Zero. When they get the right information, they sit and keep quiet. You ask, mm, Banangi, who has the right numbers? Me, I'm blocked here. What is not up? They all keep quiet and look at you, no answer. Accountability zero, my obese and orgies. My family members' accountability zero. For you, you only, when after knowing and getting, like, eh, Katumuli, they were one, I did about you. I like at the empty gate. The Tabamu would be done to Bam Chow, whatever accountability you have children and the last time i checked each one of you has a child who looks like me in character 
the Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. He's going to give you a younger girl or boy. She can ask you questions. <laughs> and you're like, well, okay. mm, I see some of my hobbies and all you saying, I'm not this child. I see my friends. I saw you. I see you posting, posting your kids, and I'm like, <laughs> everyone has an Esther at home, and those who named Esther, <laughs> babies that were given birth when I left the country in 2016. I can't wait to see your babies. I cannot wait. The Lord is gracious. And merciful. Every home has a child who knows it too much. He was all gezi gezi, who is everywhere. Every home has that child. The way you call it. For you guys, you call it all gezi gezi. And if it's a firstborn, that child is not yours. Never forget that. Look at your babies carefully. Look at your babies carefully. Look at your firstborn and look at your lastborn. We cover the firstborn and the lastborn. Look at them. Accountability is key. Baruna by partnering with Saul and he vouched for Saul. Open your Bibles in Acts. He vouched for the very man who was beating Christians. What are you talking about? And for you guys, you don't like those guys. You're too holy. And the Lord is saying, I want you to work with <laughs> so and so. Why? They have wisdom you don't have. Don't you worry about their salvation life. And what church does, you use people. <laughs> I had forgotten that part. After you use people, you throw them out. After you use people, you don't even visit them. You use them, church. You get people who know what to do and you use them because in your church, there's someone who is not good at what you want. So you go out there and you fish people who do not know the Lord and you use them to do your work. Why? Those in church don't have accountability. Then after using them, you throw them out and you tell them how they are not holy. Instead of preaching to them, did you attend today's class of Apostle Paul? Okay. For him, he said he was doing a recap, nothing in you. But me, when I sat in his class, I had new things. Did you listen to Pastor Gembe's song? Komaweka. Chapter 11 and verse 20, 25. And Barnabas left for Tarsus to search for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him back to Antioch for an entire year. They met with others in the church and instructed large numbers. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. When your partner, what names do they give for you? You know we have groups and names. <laughs> I once created a group called Zacchaeus Crew. We had to leave that group. Why? <laughs> we lost our phones. The, the only admin on the group lost the phone. We had to create another one and give it another name. Zacchaeus Crew. I have groups. You will, you will be surprised. No wonder I'm sure Dixon had to teach us how to block people who add us on groups without our permission. <laughs> Mama, and in the COVID-19, I 
19, a lot of groups have been created. Gloria, see, uh, uh, self sanctified, delivered. Ha, 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 the groups out there. Mm, I look at my phone with all the groups and I'm like, hey. <laughs> what do you do with those guys you partner with? How do you communicate to keep things running smoothly? A person with accountability, you're supposed to send a communication to everyone. A person with accountability, you're supposed to remind people where you stopped, what happened. If it is money, you're supposed to give accountability for every coin that gets out and comes in. A person with accountability, you're supposed to do that when you partner with people to keep the friendship and trust going. When someone gives you money, you're supposed to give accountability. You give accountability to someone who gave you the money, you give accountability to the people that were supposed to receive the money. Are you doing it? I was raised in a home. When they give you 1,000 Ugandan shillings, what are you going to buy? I'm going to buy a matchbox. How much is it? It is a uh, hundred Ugandan shillings. Okay. You leave the house. Did you go with a bag? You daddy, it is, it is just a, a, a matchbox. Did you go with the bag? And when you were leaving the house, how were you dressed? Flip flop. Silipa umoja. Can you wear some shoes? How long are you going to spend there? Who did you find on the road? Who did you find at the shop? What did they say? Did you have a conversation at the shop? <laughs> if you don't know what you're going to buy that you forget easily, go singing. The way you guys are forgetting the things the Lord told you 20, 10 years back, the words you spoke when you first saw it, oh, I think you should start singing and make a song in the words. Let me make you laugh. I was sitting here and someone sent me a message. They were going to sleep and the Holy Spirit told them to thank me. For the phone I bought them in 2007. I was at the university in my third year. The only thing I remember, the phone was 111,000 shillings, and if I'm I'd, and I had bought it in Simba Telecom, but I didn't know what phone it was, but it should have been a Nokia. I laughed my head off and in my mind, I actually laughed at the person, I'm like, man, your family, as in, you know how we do our things. We share things. You step in the gap for the other person. I laughed and I'm like, Holy Spirit, whatever you want to do to us this time of the day, I don't know. 2007. The phone even got spoiled, it got lost long, long. 2007, this is 2020. I was like, hey, Holy Ghost, what is not happening? The Holy Spirit has been telling people different things to tell me. Some to thank me, some to pray for me, some to just call me and find out how I am. Some people are in their discussion groups praying their own things, then they see Esther appear all of a sudden. And I'm like, guys, I, I did not attend any of the functions. You know, my time is very bad. They were like, no, it's not like that, Esther. I saw you. I'm like, eh. I know prophets who visit people in their dreams. There's a prophet who was visiting people with the ropes. <laughs> eh, there are some churches you go to and you go. Eh, the other prophet. And was telling the person, you, you, why did you run away? Kuteka <laughs> kunkondo.
and I keep telling you guys, you keep going to these prophets and the apostles and the bishops and everything, and most of them are not soaked in the Lord. Why? They don't have accountability. It's about them. Making sure they are calling is And they say, you have a lot of people. In April, the Tuesday, I was going to die. The Lord sent me someone. Sent three people. Leave alone Apostle Mitala. The other two are different. And one of them, the Lord said, Esther, the amount I will pay to someone who has 5,000 people is the same amount I will pay when you have only one person. And the Lord went into a minute of telling me she, oh, that was a bigger city. Why? The Lord, there is a young girl when I had just come to the U.S. who asked me, that can I be her mother? <laughs> I was like, yeah, my way. <laughs> you have no idea how I repented. The Lord reminded me. I cried my tears here. I repented. And I had to go back. I was being a mother, but you know a mother who has her problems and decides to say, I also have my problems. Mm, leave me alone. Once in a while, sometimes I just keep quiet. I don't even talk to her. Hey, manangi. <laughs> that did a lot of visit to You know, all the times I am crying with tears of myself, feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> He comes in a big numbers and this in May when I was crying, he's like, I've made you a leader of a pen. Me, I thought he's going to go to yo, I will do this and this and you go to America. No, he did not say that. He said I'll make you a leader of a pen. I'm like. Then I cry cry that Tuesday in May after Easter, in April after Easter, crying, 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 man. The Lord visits first with one person who prayed for me, shared a few things, prayed. then another one, and it's like, Esther, the amount I paid to someone who is taking care of 5,000 people is the same amount I give to one person who takes care of one person with a good heart. And she, I was like, hey. Then the Lord had to remind me, take me back when I had just come. I put my life in order. Now I am a mother on a big scale. How are you? How are things? What are you doing? What are you planning? Don't do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. What is happening? Did you finish school? What is lacking? When you are a leader, accountability. Now I told you I was busy here crying in my bed. I went to my bed. I didn't want to come here at night. At night, I didn't want to do the devotions. This morning, uh, when I slept, I didn't want to wake up and do anything for anyone. I just wanted to be myself and do my own things and take care of myself. Oh. Mm. Then the Lord brings a dream of a fish. Then repentance. Then Mushabi Dixon sends me that. Then the Lord, then before I slept, my mind had Uganda throughout praying for Uganda. I'm like, hey. When Apostle Vunjo started me, I was preparing myself and I was just praying. Hey, this assignment, Sivanang. If the Lord has called you to do something, to partner with him, you have to give accountability. And those who don't know the Lord, they're like, ah, ah. Mama, when the Lord created you, he created you with a purpose. That is why you were taken to school. You're supposed to benefit someone. Corporate social responsibilities. Yes, I remember the word. You're supposed to teach people. You're supposed to become a DNA in people's lives. In everything you do on a bigger scale. Some of you are starters. Some of you, you close businesses. Some start businesses. Some close businesses. 
why in the army we have a general and we have people who carry people. Everyone has a job in the army. What are you doing in that army apart from killing people? We are going into wars with the enemy. You're just shooting your own. Because why? You don't have accountability. You just close your eyes and shoot. Before you know it, you're beating your own mother. Before you know it, you're beating your own sister. Before you know it, you, mm, and you know when you go to church, they say, feed at home. When we go to companies in schools, they're like, mm, feed at home. We are from this school, feed at home. That became an army I'm in. All you do is to kill your own people in the army. Abosa, when you talked about that thing some time back, uh, how the church kills its own Whenever you see something recurring, just know the Lord is saying something. Stop walking aimlessly. Stop walking aimlessly. When something is overcoming back, just know there's something you have not yet seen. And some of you only know that you're the only one who sees. Mm, okay. Don't you worry. Keep waiting. Some of you are like, as for us, we're praying the whole night, the whole day, the Lord has not told us those things. I also don't you know, ask the Lord. No, just start the Esther fast. Never give up Esther fast. Never give up until the battle is over. When someone attacked me and said, no wonder the only one here on your things, I looked and I laughed and I'm like, wisdom is very expensive. I am not here for people, I am here for God. The work I am doing is for God, whether you want to sit there or not. After, I will go and get my check. You thought you are helping me to sit there? You know there are people whose wisdom is, it. <clears throat> they don't attend wisdom man. But I told you, I will attend your projects. Just tag me the day you are launching that project. That one, I will be honest with you. I will attend, my friends. Unfortunately, my father doesn't know how to use Facebook. Oh. I see parents with their children. Oh, I wish my mother and the father can use WhatsApp. Facebook. Oh. I wish <laughs> and I'm here teaching and then I see my father's face or name. I even bring him on camera. <laughs> and he says Estaneda. That one is not right. Say it like this. I am also a child. <laughs> no wonder the Lord said, Esther, I have your back. I see. Mama. Even People who are older than me, when they come out and their parents are still alive, I see their parents, they are not even seated. They are, they are sending messages to everyone. Hey, guess what? So and so pretty. Let me send you the video. And I'm like... My father and mother are not... Ay, 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 Bible said, let us make a man in our own image. Hey, my friend, in the families I see, all family members, they look like this when their daughter is speaking, or when their daughter is getting married, everyone is a all of us are put on bouquets like this. Hey, mchakola chino, mchakola chino, hey, manyo mkolo, hey, hey, hey. And us who have the bad manners, fetu vera mkolo, we run around in a minute. <laughs> Ngabo abana abagezi abana abempiso ngaba to devasa zeko ba yamba dobo kondo fumita the men are all dressed up in their suits and putting hands in the pocket. For us, we make sure we bring sneakers so that we can. Omkolo kwa wede kwa wede e ba mbiva sani se. Ngaba we ba to devale zengaro. Tuli mo COVID nineteen e ba singo kav. Yeah. Parents, accountability. We are all children.
We are all children. It is not about your child only. You're supposed to raise everyone. If you think we have bad manners, don't spread the word. Sit us down and tell us that things are not done like this. But don't talk about me. And spread it. Why? You're sowing the seed. You have either a daughter or a son in your house. Accountability. When you are putting your babies on the plate like this, and you're putting another person's baby down, I am someone's baby, okay? <laughs> Accountability, zero. Okay. Let us leave a partnership. Barnabas joined with Saul in bringing feminine relief to the Christians in Judea. <laughs> Barnabas joined with Saul. Uh -huh, when you partnered with your friends, the business is booming and making money. You're making us pay for your things. After you got money, what did it do? What did it do when you partnered with your friends? <laughs> what did it do? Especially those projects that get money out. Mm. You're going to sell your things. What did that money do? I've seen many people inviting me for things and I look like this and I'm like, hmm. does this person even know who I am when I come out to tell them the bad they do? What they just did to me from the group? <laughs> For you, you are about gaining and you become rich. Yeah, let us read the Barunaba when he joined Saul in bringing the family relief to dead Christians in Judea. Mm. Hey, Barnabas, <laughs> you're something else. Acts chapter 11 and verse 30. I can go back on 27 and we read from there because we read 25 and 26 let's read 27 now at this time some prophets came down from jerusalem to antioquia <laughs> no one of them named agabus stood up and prophesied through the holy spirit that a severe famine <laughs> those ones you call them doom <laughs> the prophets who come with bad news are always doom Mm. <laughs> Let us see how the far that goes. Mm. Famine would come on the entire world. And this did happen during the reign of Chaldicea. Claudius. So the disciples decided to send a contribution. The Bugatti Project. <laughs> Hey, hey, Vanagi, Pastor Maka Kavera Kagurini. <laughs> Yarabi. Banagi. The Bible. Mm -hmm. You want our votes, politicians. Who have you partnered to make sure you feed us? Uganda is about feeding, the land feeds us. Fertile soil feeds us. My obis and orgies who have the money. <laughs> My friends. Who have the money? You bought a piece of land. You built the big house. Your friends don't have where to stay. Hey, hey, my nange. My work comments who are rich. Chamfa ha church members. Church members. You see, work comments, all bees and all in family, they're all in a church. All of them go to a church. Mm. What have you done with that place of royalty? You know, for us, we are here to Wururet. Hey, Vanange, Mamuravi. Hey, that issue. Wururet, Wururet, that picture. That picture, Vanange. Oh, the family, they marched out. Vanange, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My job is to wululate, publish my friends in the things you do. One of them named, I am one person. When you achieve something in life, those who know me know me. 
I get excited and I go beyond my excitement. Eh. Now people don't, you, there was a wave where I was kicked off a particular group. 